Welcome to Cube 1. As you can see, we're playing Skyblock. And this isn't just any old Skyblock. This is Feed the Beast Skyblock. Well, it's been pretty significantly modified, too, because none of the Skyblock plugins that are available uh, really know how to handle Feed the Beast. None of them can handle uh, metadata on blocks for challenges or rewards for challenges. Uh, and of course none of them have challenge lists customized for Feed the Beast. Which really struck me as odd, because from everything I've read, Feed the Beast started as a Skyblock challenge map. You'd think that would have been the first thing that anyone would have done. Did I really just clear my tree and not get any saplings? Okay, we've still got one leaf block. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's dig our way up. We got one chance left. This is really an omen of things to come, isn't it, folks? I have a feeling that uh, this series is going to be full of just all kinds of crazy derps. Oh, one sapling. Yeah, that that's definitely an omen of things to come. Okay, so as I said, we've been pretty thoroughly modified. You can see there's two tiers in there after intro that you've never seen before. Jewels and UU. Anyone familiar with Feed the Beast can probably guess what they're for. Uh, jewels is, of course, Minecraft Jewels. It covers some forestry, some uh, MFR, and some build craft. UU, well, gee, I think that probably covers industrial craft. Um, and then down at the bottom, you can see Empty, which is a tier that just makes the optional tier available. Buzz, we can probably guess, gives us bees. Let's see how we would go about doing that. 64 red flowers, 64 yellow flowers, and then it's going to give us some princesses and some drones. And then we also have uncrafting. If I could type. Really? Uncrafter. You'd think I'd remember it since I'm the one that wrote the challenge, but I guess not. We can get an uncrafting table. We need two bottles of enchanting for that. I have a feeling that's probably going to take us a minute to put together. So... Now, setting up a skyblock island, the beginning of it, it, it's pretty dull. So I'm not going to force you guys to watch me setting up. I'm going to get started and get to the point where I have at least the beginning of all my crops going. And then I'll bring you guys back in to see what we're doing. And we're back. And I brought us back because now I have the resources to turn in the first challenge and to make use of the results doing that first challenge. Now I'm pretty sure the first challenge most people do is cobblestone generator. And the requirements haven't changed but the rewards have. It's going to give us two of each orberry bush. So we get two iron orberry bushes, two gold orberry bushes, two copper orberry bushes, and two tin orberry bushes. And we're going to... Oh, See, there's our pedestal for our one lonely sapling. Let's get that in there. <laughs> I still can't believe one sapling. That's just... <sighs> well, from you shall flow a mighty river of wood. Hurry up. So, we've got our orberry bushes. We need to start setting up a place for them to live. They can't just go on the island, because most of you probably know orberries need darkness. So we're going to have to build a nice little tunnel area. That's the other reason I waited until I had more uh, cobblestone, was I wanted to make sure I had the resources to set up the area we're going to need to exploit our ore berries. Uh, I'm going to start off with just a simple 7x7 seven seven dark area. Why 7x7, seven seven, you ask? Well, ore berries can be harvested using an MFR harvester. Um, and 7x7 seven seven seems like a reasonable starter size. Uh, I'm going to make the inside three tall so that we can stack the ore berries just as high as they go and get the absolute maximum amount of resources possible from our uh, space.
Uh, this is just a little chamber. There's nothing special to it. Three, four, five, six. And at this point, we don't even have the resources to put together an uh, aqueous accumulator or an engine of any kind or the harvester. But we will get to that point. So right now, it's just going to be harvesting it all by hand. One, two, three. I think I'd be able to count better than that, but I can't. Sorry about the moment of silence there, folks, but I just have a bit of trouble still building and talking at the same time, especially when it's something as uh, banal as a 7 by 7 cobblestone box. But momentarily, we will have it all put together, and we'll be able to put down our ore berries and start reaping the rewards of... Uh, feed the beast. One of the first things I'm going to aim for once I start getting some metals is I'm going to build me a little spot where monsters can spawn and start collecting minium shards. As I'm sure you can guess, minium shards are just or minium stones are just about the most useful thing you can possibly have in the uh, limited skyblock environment. Let you turn one thing into another. Eight an ender pearl into eight iron, that's one heck of a trade. Okay, I've run out of cobble, so we're going to take a pause right here, and I will bring you guys back when I have this finish put together. Okay, so we've got our area to put our ore berries built, so let's get them going. The fun part about this is going to be placing that torch far enough back that it keeps monsters from spawning, but close enough that it doesn't uh, stop the ore berries from growing. Yeah, it looks like our best spot only is one spot with a X on it. Not good, but eh, we've got a sword. We have ways of dealing with them if they spawn. And how else are we going to get materials other than killing monsters for them? <laughs> Speaking of killing monsters, it's time to put together a little platform for them to spawn on. But to do that safely, we're going to need a door. And to get a door, we're going to need to chop down this tree. And that means another test of luck to see how many saplings we get. So, oh, well, that seems like we're not going to have to worry about it if we get one that early. Yeah. We can expand our tree farm a little bit. Having one lonely tree, well, it'll take forever to get enough resources to do anything. I ran out of wood a little while ago. That's why if you see, I only have two and a half stacks of cobble. I couldn't make any more pickaxe handles to make another pickaxe. <laughs> and I didn't want to chop the tree down until I had you guys back. I'm hoping we're going to get some apples. There's one of the other challenges is apple collector. You turn in two apples, and it gives us the stuff we need to start uh, harvesting rubber. When you turn in the two apples, it gives you uh, two of each kind of tree. Well, not each kind. Feed the Beast has way too many trees for just one challenge to give you uh, a sapling of each kind. But it gives you a sapling of all of the vanilla trees, plus the um, IC2 rubber tree. So, makes it easy to get a lot of rubber really quick. Now, I'm the sort, I don't like to carry around anything I don't need to be carrying around on Skyblock. It's way too easy to trip, fall off, 
and lose all your stuff. And as you can see from this nice little skull on the mini map and this pillar of humiliating light over here, it's labeled Last Death. I've already fallen off once, and I'm really not keen to go doing it again. So, we need to put together a door. And we're going to go out here and start our platform. It's got to be at least 16 blocks away from where we're going to be spending most of our time, and the mobs won't spawn. And I already pre-counted this. It's 16. We're going to make it just a little bit longer so we can get close to it without causing a problem. I'm going to slap our door down. And make ourselves a big enough platform that we can fight on it. Eh, I think I probably want a little too big. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, but we'll roll with it. Two, three. Now that we have some more wood, we can get some more torches. I had just enough wood to make four torches, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's at least one or two monsters spawned on the island over there by the time we get back. Hopefully, we'll be able to deal with them, because it's going to be... A while before we get access to any kind of armor. Now, really quick, just because if I don't do this, we're going to get a lot of skeletons spawning and shooting us while we're trying to walk up here to uh, take their tasty resources. We're going to have to put in a wall. They can't shoot through. I'm curious to see just how many times this is going to get blown up by a creeper, though. So I'm sure coming through that door, there's going to be creepers crowded up right against it. But there's not a lot we can do about it at this point. If we had some more resources, I'd probably build, like, I don't know, a piston and water system to flush them away from the door before we came in. But if we had those kind of resources, we wouldn't be building something horribly simple like this. We'd be building a full-on mob spawner now, wouldn't we? Which I will get to. This is just a, a temporary stopgap thing. Plus it'll give us a spot where we can start. Really. I can count, I promise. There we go. Okay. And yes, I know it's open to the sky, but, ooh, anybody else hear that? Where is he at? Oh, that one spot. Oh, you weren't supposed to fall. You were supposed to die and give me a minium shard. Well, we can already see our ore berries are starting to grow, so we know we've got the torch back in about the right spot. We could take care of this and just... Do it the cheaty way and put three cobblestone right here, I guess. Now, as you can see, I haven't started building any farms yet. I just plopped down some sugar cane and my starting pumpkin and watermelon to get something going. But now that we've got a little bit of resources to play with, we can start chopping down all this dirt and moving it into more useful positions. First though, we're going to need a different spot to put our infinite water spring. Oh, visitors! Yay! Oh, a lot of visitors. Ah, and there we go. Do we have anything really important on us? No. And you get to see our lovely spawn. <laughs> One of our uh, other players, Riddle, built our shop. Now, I'm not really going to be using the shop because it lets you get ahead of where you're supposed to be. Like, I could just come here and buy a minium stone, but that kind of uh, defeats the whole purpose. Um, the only thing I might buy is if I decide I'm going to use dark craft, I'll come and buy the four sticks. 
since this version of Feed the Beast makes it impossible to uh, craft force sticks. Hopefully they'll get a newer version promoted soon. And then I built this for newer players so that they could get the idea of how to build basic cobble gins. And of course I had to have my silly little joke. I know it's not the best cobble gin. It'd be a lot easier to just stick a turtle next to a chest. That'd be much faster. But that takes no attention, no effort, and it just goes. Basic tree farm, MFR tree farm. This, of course, is what we'll be using. It's actually actually one of the uh, challenges in the jewels tier has you build almost you know this same setup, except for the automation down here. Okay, back to the island. Actually, I think I'm going to have to cut it here for a minute so I can get some uh, cobblestone, because I had my entire collection of cobblestone with me when I fell off. Doesn't that make you feel rich? No, 51 cobblestone was my entire collection of cobblestone. <laughs> okay, I will be back just as soon as I have some more cobblestone and I can go back to doing interesting things. We're back after that bit of silliness. But we do have some good news. If we look in here, we can see a couple of our ore berries have grown up to full growth and are even ready to harvest. Not enough to be really useful for anything yet, but the sooner we start storing them away, well, the sooner we'll actually get ingots. Now you can see, I obviously did get it working some, since now we've got some bones, some bone meal, some spider eyes. We've got enough string to make a bow, although we don't have enough arrows to make it useful. Um, but the bone meal is important. So we can use that to get our wheat seeds. I replaced this cobble with the dirt just to have a little more grass surface to try and get wheat seeds off of. And as soon as the grass covers it, we'll start trying that. Uh, you can see I've modified the mob area a little bit. These punji sticks slow the mobs down, do some damage, and I can just stand here and whack them back onto the punji sticks. Now, it doesn't work quite as well with creepers, but it's still a lot better than trying to fight them while slowly backpedaling along the bridge. Um, this isn't working as well as I hoped it would. I'm probably between this episode and the next going to replace it with a full-on normal mob dropper. I think you can probably see one of my neighbors has... Let's see... Huh. I don't know why we can't see him. Oh, there we go. Couldn't remember which side he was on. That is my neighbor Timeline. And his, you know, pretty much just bog standard mob dropper, which is probably what we'll build too. We don't really have the resources to build much of anything else. But... Bone meal. Okay. For those of you who haven't played Skyblock before, Bone Meal is how you get access to wheat. Oh, and we got really lucky and got it on the first try. But we're still going to go through the rest of our Bone Meal because I would like to also get some flax. Won't be useful right now, but later on once we have a planter and a harvester and all of that, there we go. It would be very nice to have a flax farm so we don't have to worry about strings. Now, we just got some barley. I never really found a good use for barley. I don't much care for it, so it's just going to go off to the big trash can in the sky. Let's tuck those wheat seeds away right now. And the melon. Now, I've been told you can use this in an induction smelter with sugar, I think, to get... Uh, leather back. I think we're going to have to test that later. But for now, we're going to expand our tree farm a little bit, and then we're going to build another platform coming off the back of it where we're going to set up the beginnings of our wheat farm. Once the wheat farm is starting to produce reasonably well, well actually, before we start the wheat farm, we will start the melon farm. Uh, for those of you that have played vanilla Skyblock, you know uh, you turn in wheat or watermelons or pumpkins to get dirt. 
Now, most of those have been repurposed to give other things in the Feed the Beast version of Skyblock that I've created. But melons are still the same. You still turn in 128 melon slices, and when you repeat it, you get two dirt, and I think you get five dirt the first time. So since we don't have any chance of building a uh, macerator this early, we're going to start with getting dirt through pump or through melons. And we don't need to get a lot that way, just enough, because there's, there's a fair amount of dirt in this island that we can tear out. Just make sure we leave one grass block to start grass again when we want it. Um, there's a fair amount of dirt in this island we can tear out to start building farms with. Now, I also harvested the tree once and got some wood and made some charcoal because, well, frankly, I'm scared of the dark. You saw how easily those mods took me out earlier. I think you can probably guess why I'm scared of the dark. So, four trees ought to do it to start. We're not going to need a lot of them. It'll be better when we've done apple collector. As you see, we have got one apple already. Once we've done apple collector, we can switch to birch, and birch grows much, much faster or at least in my experience, goes much, much faster than oaks do. Um, I've actually planted a birch and been standing there and had it grow before I could walk away and start suffocating me. Uh, not the best way to go, but kind of ironic, I suppose. So here's hoping that we get at least one apple from chopping this tree down. I usually have pretty bad luck with apples. I will say that I am not going to breed the forestry super tree. If you've heard about that, I, I bred one in the main world, and I found it was just a little bit ridiculous. I have hundreds of thousands of apples in storage, uh, so much that I've had to build a deep storage unit just to store apples because it was overwhelming my uh, applied energistics setup. And it doesn't look like we're going to get an apple this time. Now, I always have the best luck getting apples from super trees, but super trees are a big part of why I don't like oaks, because they're a pain in the butt to chop down. Okay, let's start setting up the platform for our melons and pumpkins. Now, pumpkins have been changed to give silver oil. Melons have stayed the same, and wheat has been changed to give us minium shards. Uh, you get five the first time you turn in a stack of wheat, and then you get one for every stack thereafter. Now, I could just go with uh, wheat to get my minium stones, but it still feels a little, I don't know, I, I feel like I'd rather earn them the old-fashioned way. Uh, but if push comes to shove, I certainly will take challenge-based minium stones, or minium shards. Okay, so one for the center for the water, two dirt on either side, and that gives us enough room for our, our melon patch. So let's start taking apart our island. To do that, I'm going to want to get under it so I can build a platform and not lose any of our precious dirt. Eh. And I always have, well, not always, but often have bad luck doing this. So I'm going to empty my inventory of everything non-essential before I go down here. Ah. No good. Okay. And let's swim back up to the top since our water is sticking over the platform we've created. Hmm. Huh. 
how to fix that. I think if we just put one cobblestone right here, the water will go the way we want it to. Yep. Gotta take that bucket away. If we lose that, it's gonna take forever to replace it just by waiting for uh, our ore berries. Now, between episodes, I'm probably going to turn in the uh, cobblestone generator challenge a few more times so I can fill this back wall up with ore berries, but I have to wait for these ore berry bushes to finish growing before I can do that. Although, actually, there is a way to hurry that up, and we're going to take advantage of that. Using up our last charcoal on that. Okay. So now we just need to make a platform. Cover the whole space under our island. So that when we go to break the dirt, we can't possibly lose any of it. And there's sand in there too. There's not a lot of it, but there's enough that we'll be able to get our uh, cactuses going. Um, cactuses are another one whose reward has not changed from vanilla. It still gives you sand, which, at least this early on, is kind of hard to get. Uh, once we get a macerator, obviously, it won't be nearly as much of a challenge as it was, but until then, we don't really have any way to get sand other than by turning in cactuses. Uh, did I forget to close the door? No. Oh, I know. My torches don't quite cover the whole area outside the door. Let's see if we can clear these guys out a little. Well, first we better put the torches down here. Or with my luck, the next time we come down here, there'll be monsters galore waiting for us, and then it's just impossible to get back onto the platform. I would hate to meet someone that was a strong enough swimmer to be able to swim straight up a vertical waterfall. That would be... Scary. But then again, a lot of the stuff Steve does. Oh, that was an Enderman. How do we want to deal with him? Hello, Mr. Spider. Have we got a bit of server lag? Yes, we did. Ah, clear lag was running. I still don't know how I want to deal with those in The only thing I can think of is real quick, we're going to put down a roof. Gotta do it quick. Are those skeletons going to shoot us? I just hope they don't set off the creepers. So let's see if we can get this guy to come attack us. Uh, I wasn't talking about you, Mr. Creeper. Come on. Come out us an ender pearl, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Did we drop one in here, maybe? Nope. Okay, oh, half a heart. Well, fortunately, we do have some melons to eat, even if it is counterproductive to our goals to be eating our melons. And of course, I forgot to close the door. Mm. 
really. How on earth did he get there? Well, fortunately I was standing in a spot where I shouldn't have lost any of my inventory. Nope, we still have everything. Okay, I guess... Yep, he must have spawned up here. So, let's just make sure... Yep. But that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, and now they can't get by. Yeah, this was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. I thought this would be a nice little shortcut rather than building one of those giant towers. But I'm going to have to tear it all down and put up a regular mob spawner, I think. Well, let's go fight off that uh, spider that's decided to make a hole oh, and a creeper. <sighs> I'm just glad we can get him to walk across the bridge where we could make him fall off. Of course, it's just a tiny bit too big. <laughs> okay, let's get back to what we were doing. We're going to need a fair amount of dirt to even start the melon farm. Because every melon takes two pieces of dirt. That's the one problem with using melons. They take up twice the amount of dirt to harvest. Oh, did I lose? Ah, oh, phew. Thought I lost my sand block. And we're going to put our cactuses down here, just because, well, you may have already noticed that I'm a tiny bit clumsy, and I do not fancy walking into them all the time. With, with the luck I've been showing, I'll walk into them, take a bunch of damage, and then a monster will wander over and finish me off, just like that angry zombie managed to a minute ago. While it might be fun to laugh at me, I don't think it's very fun to watch me die all the time. <laughs> oh! Well, fortunately we can just swim up it. Not while we're holding shift. But we can just swim up it and put it back. So I guess we'll steal from the other side first. Really? Well, we've got 16 dirt. That'll be enough to put some melons down. And I think when I get the melons planted, that's where I'm going to end this first episode. Because it's going to be a while before we have enough stuff to accomplish any more challenges. And at least this early, that's where the interest, interesting bits are. When you've seen one uh, sky block put up, you've seen them all put up, like I said before. Uh, I'm sure I haven't done much. It's all that different from what you've seen before. But that will change as we go along, because eventually we'll get to where the interesting stuff is. I mean, the entire next tier is the entire next tier is nothing but feed the beast type stuff. <laughs> that 
That's Lacuna. He's uh, my newest Skyblock member on here. And apparently he's having trouble with his tree farm. So I'm going to pause here for a second. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode here so I can go help him with his tree farm. Uh, I'm wanting to have out at least one episode a week for starter. But I'd like to do more than that. That just depends on how well I do this. Because this is my first time ever trying to do anything like a Let's Play. But please leave some feedback in the comments, and if you're interested in checking out the server, you can. Uh, the the link will be in the comments. And uh, the Skyblock for right now is a donator perk thing. It's just a five dollar donation to get access to Skyblock. Now that is temporary. Once I've built up a player base, I'm going to take that away, and it will be available to everybody. But after that, the people that did donate early will have more perks than the people that didn't. Okay, this is Darva signing off, and I will see you guys all next time.